Hello astronomy students, this is Mr. Stockbridge. Welcome to Astronomy 151. I'll be your instructor this semester and we are going to have a great, great time this semester. Now, you've already enjoyed the beginning of Astronomy 111 video. In this video, I'm going to take you on a very brief tour of Sakai and show you where things are hidden, hopefully not too deeply. Uh, there's one thing I really can't stand. It's students having to go through a course like a scavenger hunt or a treasure hunt trying to find things. So let me give you a real quick tour of how things are set up here in Sakai. All right, on the main screen, let's start over here on the far left. You'll see that there are all these various buttons over here, and they'll take you various places. The overview is what you're seeing right now. So we have our information here. You've got some instructor stuff, uh, the calendar, and a quick view of the announcements. Just so you know, over here on the calendar, anytime you see a color-coded block, that means there's some form of assignment due on that day. So already you know that you have some kind of due date on Tuesday the 17th. The announcements. Here, this announcement is something that may already appear in your email box. So you can always have a quick link to announcements right there. Over here on the far left, okay, lessons. Lessons we're going to get to because we're going to spend a lot of time there in a few moments. The syllabus, this is the syllabus for the course. You will be reading this very soon. It is a critical piece of information. Um, now, here we have a couple of quick links. We have many different discussion forums that are going to be happening during the course of the semester. And this link right here basically is just a quick shortcut to get you there so that you don't have to go into a particular week of material and, and find things. Uh, you can basically shortcut right to, okay, for example, discussion one, instead of having to go through lessons into something else, into something else. So that's what the forums is. Uh, you can send an email. Again, the calendar, but there's a short version over here on the screen. And of course, your grade book. Now, the order of these things and how high they up are up on the list may change a little bit over the course of time. There might be a couple new things that slip in there, but these are the main features that you're going to need most frequently. So let's talk about lessons because all of the activity in Sakai is in the lessons. So here we go. Here in the lessons, this is where everything is contained. So the first thing you're going to do once you finish watching this video is you're going to click on this link right here, week zero, orientation and introduction. And it's going to walk you through the rest of the orientation and introduction process. So let's take a quick look of what's there. Okay, here we are. You'll notice that there's not a whole lot of information slammed on the screen all at once here. That's to try and keep things streamlined. So this is everything for the week. The one thing you need to take away from this video more than anything else is that everything you need each week is described and contained in the summary of work. This is where information on readings are, assignment details, links to files, everything is here in the summary of work. These other things that you see right here, those are where you go to turn an assignment in or to carry out a discussion or to take a quiz, but all of the actual content is going to be in here with the summary of work. There is one exception, however, and that is optional extras. Optional extras, you'll hear described in the syllabus. These are not extra credit, but these are optional assignments. And all of the details for those assignments are contained only within this link. You will not find it in the summary of work. So go here if you're looking for an opportunity to take a little optional assignment and hopefully boost your grade a little bit. For right now, let's dive into the summary of work. Okay, here is everything. Now, as you see, there's a lot of color here. What you need to be aware of is that anywhere you see blue, bold, italic, underlined text, that is a link. That could be a link to 
a Word file that could be a link to a PowerPoint, an audio file that you need to listen to, a video on YouTube, um, any number of different things. So trying to make sure that the shortcuts are really obvious, the links are not hiding from you in any way, so that's where they are. This is another quick link to the syllabus, and so on and so on all the way down here. Okay, now up here at the top, you'll see that these things are going across. These are referred to sometimes as breadcrumbs. Right now, we're on the summary of work. If you wanted to back up a little bit, you cannot really use the back arrow on Sakai. So what we need to do is just go back to week zero, and here we are. Again, all the work is contained in the summary of work, and then this is where you go to complete different things. As soon as you finish this video, week zero is what you need to do. Let me walk you through week one just a little bit, though, so you can see what is going to happen on a normal day-to-day, week-to-week basis. So again, going back to lessons, week one. All right, here you see we've got a video to watch just right out of the gates. So please do that and then dive into the summary of work. Again, it's the first and only place you should go at the beginning of a new week of material. All right, again, here it is. We've got links to a PowerPoint. We have a video embedded that you can watch right here. We have an audio file. We have something to read. Um, the textbook, as you'll come across in the syllabus and hopefully have already received an email about, the textbooks are not required. However, if you feel like you need a little bit of extra support, I'm going to tell you each week, this is where the same material that we've covered up here is covered in the textbook. Here's your discussion question. There's the homework. There's the assignment file with the questions which you will need to answer, or in this case, solve. It's a math-based one this first time. And then here is a lab assignment. Now, one thing I'm going to be inserting to this is often there will be a grading rubric or a scoring rubric, so you can see how many points each part of the assignment is worth. Um, it seems to have disappeared here momentarily, but I'll put that back in so that you know exactly how the assignment is going to be scored and make sure that you aren't missing anything when you turn your assignment in. And of course, here is a last little thing, a blurb about the quiz, and then a link to the key terms and concepts, which is basically your study guide for the week. There'll be a KTC or key terms and concepts for each individual week of the course. All right, so that's what week one looks like in the summary of work. Now, just to prove to you that the summary of work is where you need to go, let's take a look at the lab. All right, here are the instructions right here. Please notice that there's a bunch of extra stuff kind of hanging out at the top, but the instructions are here. And you'll see that there aren't a whole lot of instructions here. It says, Complete the lab activity as described in the summary of work. So this is where you would go to submit your assignment, but this is not where you'll go to find information on the assignment. And the story will hold true with pretty much everything else in this list, except for the optional extra. All right, let me check my notes here real quick. Make sure I haven't left anything out for you. Ah, uh, yes. There are going to be a lot of observation projects in this course. So you're going to be getting out and observing the night sky and even playing with some telescopes. You're going to ask, how on earth is he pulling that off in an online course? You'll find out soon. But a lot of these assignments do not fit neatly into any particular one week of the course. Therefore, what you're going to see is on the lessons page, I'll actually put it up here at the top, there'll be a link for everything having to do with observation projects. It'll appear above week zero. I'll insert it here in just a moment. Um, so anything that's observation project related, how to do it and where to turn it in is all going to be located right here. 
All right. I think that's it for your tour of Sakai. Hopefully that should cover everything. Again, we're going to have a great semester. This is a fun, fun course. I hope you enjoy it. I know I thoroughly enjoy teaching it. As you have questions, please ask. Please ask sooner than later. I'm here to help you guys understand a fascinating and enjoyable topic, and we're going to have a good time. So please go ahead, head over to lessons, start taking care of week zero, and I will see you online very soon.